Welcome back. In this video, we're going to dive into data science. So as I said before, data science is a big term that has a lot of uh, smaller domains that fit inside of that. I wouldn't say they're smaller domains, but I guess that's how it works, right? You have an umbrella term and then these smaller sort of domains inside. So data science, before we get into defining this, it's important to talk about data science roles and practitioners because you might see a data science practitioner that absolutely doesn't fit into this definition of data science. And the reason is, is because, well, there are these strict definitions for data science, and then there's real life. Uh, people working with data, and there's so much data, and there is so much opportunity to work with data that it could be some person that is a data scientist in some capacity that doesn't fit into the definition of what is data science. So I just wanted to give you that caveat now, without further ado, let's dive into the traditional definitions of what is data science. All right, so what is data science? And the best way to jump into that, in my opinion, is to separate them into two parts. This first part is going to be, and again, this is all data science, right? This is an umbrella for all of this. So data science contains data analysis. So we'll start off with that difference. What is the difference between data analysis? So data analysis, just to be sure, is part of data science. So let's put data analysis here and then data science here. So let's talk about the differences and the common ground. So data analysts work to find trends and valuable information to draw insights into and to, to make decisions. And a data scientist will try to estimate the unknown, ask questions, write algorithms, and build statistical model, models. So, so we know that they both clean, manipulate, and draw insights from data. However, the differences are the unknown. So we're drawing conclusions from the unknown, right? And here we're usually dealing with historic, historical data. Right, data that already exists. And here we're talking about things that, that you know, predictions, things that have not happened yet. And that's why we're, uh, data scientists have to write algorithms and build statistical models. They both do data visualization and things like that. So there's a lot of overlap between data analysis and data science, right? However, there is this uh, difference where this is dealing more with statistics, algorithms, and uh, and building models, right? And here we're really dealing with insights, visualizing the insights and helping uh, this decision making process, usually with historical data. All right, so now let's talk about the bottom three. So this would be the AI part. So AI is the bigger umbrella for machine learning. So let's do that. So this would be AI, and this would be machine learning, and this would be deep learning. So AI is about the machine being able to reason act, and adapt. And here with machine learning, we're talking about data that performs a task without being told, right? So it learns with data. And we'll dive into this. It's a lot more complicated than that. But we're going to talk about each one of these later. And I just want to give it, separate these three terms, right? So AI is to act, reason, and adapt. And machine learning is learning from data. And then deep learning is a subset of machine learning using neural networks. And these neural networks use big data and they're modeled on the human brain and they're particularly useful for unstructured data. So if you've ever seen a deep fake video, right? It's a video, so that's unstructured data and they use deep learning to figure out how to or learn what an actor would say and they've never said it before. For example, I could say a line and then it could be a famous actor saying that same line, right? Perfect inflection. That's a deep fake video. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Okay, so now we're going to dive into each one. We're going to talk about data analysis, data science, and then AI, ML, and deep learning. So what is data analysis? So this is a process of making sense by converting raw information or raw data into information. And then that information actually has the value because it helps decision making, right? And we're talking about 
cleaning, manipulating, and combining data to find trends, patterns, and relationships that lead to value, right? And that's this value is because they're going to make a decision. What's very popular for data analysis is Excel, Tableau, Power BI, and programming languages such as R, Python, or even Julia. So if you're exploring data, visualizing it, and sharing the insights from your exploration, you're doing some sort of data analysis. And just remember that data scientists also perform data analysis, right? But they also do other things. So they kind of take it a little bit further. So there's a little bit of overlap. All right, now let's talk about data science. Proper data science is the systematic study of data to gain insights into, and here's the important part, the past, the current, or the present, <laughs> and future events. So it's not just historical data, but also predictions, right? So we're going to make predictions, crystal ball stuff. So that's a crystal ball. All right, so predictions, that's pretty cool. How do they do that? Well, we're going to definitely dive into all of that. But let's take a look at data science, right? So we already know that data analysis is more historical data. Data science is more about future events and predictions, more statistical models and writing algorithms to accomplish that. Now, let's talk about AI. So we have the AI, machine learning, and deep learning. So we already talked briefly about what AI is. And as we discussed earlier, it's a larger domain for machines or applications that can execute on its own. So let's just uh, draw some kind of a, not the Tesla robot, but let's just say this is some sort of an AI. And they can drive cars, um, they can do tests on their own, and they can execute um, its own predictions from data without human assistance. So they have a crystal ball, right? So let's break it down. AI is about algorithms that exhibit intelligence through decision making. And it does things that are usually done by humans, right? Such as drive a car. And I think this most looks more like a Tesla truck, but anyway, this is an AI driving a car. And that's something that humans can do, but now robots can do the same thing. And I'm sure you know about Tesla. Well, there's gonna be driving trucks and everything, and drones. Yeah, and autonomous drones, that's a whole nother thing. So we're gonna have flying drones that fly by themselves. Humans can't even fly drones yet, but AI will be able to do that. So what about machine learning and deep learning? Machine learning is more about computers that can learn and adapt without explicit instruction. So we're talking about learning, right? Or using algorithms and statistical modeling to draw inference from patterns in data. And when we're talking about uh, predictive modeling and execution, that's called uh, autonomous response or machine learning, right? So it can learn and do things on its own. It's about algorithms of AI that assist systems to learn from different types of data sets. Learn and do, right? So autonomous driving. The AI has to learn and that's where ML comes in. However, it, when it's trying to learn, let's say that this is the a track, circular track where this car is gonna learn how to drive in circles. Well, that car is going to crash a, a bunch of times. So what machine learning is, this car will first try that and crash, and then it'll do this and not this, and it'll maybe go backwards, but eventually it'll get further and further until it's done it so many times that it can just drive perfectly around in that circle, right? That's kind of like a high level explanation of machine learning as it applies to uh, autonomous driving. Sounds a little bit complicated, but when you really think about it, it's just like a person learning to drive, except that a person's not going to do it 10 million times and go through 100,000 cars. But a computer could do that because those things don't exist, and we can leverage that. All right, so finally, we're here at deep learning. And this is a subset of ML. And we're talking about predictions and neural networks and big data. So that's Another part that makes it a little bit different from machine learning. Machine learning, you have this car and it's using this uh, this model to keep learning from that data, right? So it has some test data and then it's it's learning how to drive deep. 
learning is actually great for unstructured data, such as videos and audio and so on. And if you've seen um, deep fake videos, well, that's unstructured data. And again, here, this is what they're doing. And it's about algorithms that use these neural networks to analyze the data and provide an output. So it could be a video of me just saying something, and then Deepfake will turn it into a video of a famous person, famous actor maybe, um, saying the same thing that I said, but in their voice. And that's what um, big deep learning is. That's a good example of deep learning, these deep fake videos. Because it's using these neural networks and a lot of data to make these predictions, this output. So you give it an input and it'll give you the output that you're looking for. In this case, me sounding like a famous actor. All right, so we're almost at the very end of this. Let's just recap this, and this is a little bit more technical, but I thought it might be useful. So when we're talking about AI, we're, these are the types of AI. So we have a re reactive machine, which is a basic type of AI, limited memory, which is another type of AI, and then self-aware. So these are all types of AI. And these you may not have heard of as, as often as maybe something like machine learning and deep learning because a little bit more popular. Um, for example, if you're, you probably have heard of supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. This is all part of machine learning. And if you've heard of these neural networks, the different names, well, the names of those are CNN, RNN, GAN, and DBN. They all stand for convolutional neural network, recurrent neural network, generative adversarial network, and deep belief network. Now, I'd love to go into each one of these more because it's super interesting and there's all these examples that we can talk about, but we're just talking about data science in the scope of what is data science. And we're talking about AI, ML, and deep learning because it's part of data science. But we will have opportunities to, to go through this in another scale, so just keep that in mind. All right, so that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video on data science tools. I hope this has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.